Hello friends, my name is Habib. Today we're going to learn how to make swipe pick effect using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So first, open up VS Code to file, open folder, document, folder, SWI select folder. We are going to create a new file called index.html index.css index.js I'm going to go and create html5 then I'm going to write link arial equals to style sheet href equals to index.css script source equals to index.js Last script. Now I'm going to create a div, an ID of D, and I'll put text inside of it that says hello. Oh, copy, pass, paste. Now we get this. Not, I'm going to style the div with hashtag D do with 25 SVW 25% of the uh, width of the screen and 25% of the width of the screen also the border radius to something like 10% so the background color I'll set the background color to crimson. No, 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 I meant cornflower blue for now. For the alright hashtag D. Teach one. Set the color to cadet blue for now. For the font size 40% maybe. That's going to work. Oh. 10 REM, you know, 10 EM, one REM. Oh, I think I'm just going to set it to black. And then to center it, I'm going to set the display to grid, place items, center, justify content, center, there, now where is the border, I meant to write border radius. For the radius 10%. I'm going to go to the body. Uh, and I'll set the background color to, to, to this for now. Yeah, I'm just going to set it to black for now. Uh, then I'm going to set the display to grid. And then copy this oh. it is yeah uh, and then I finally have to set the width uh, width I meant height I meant the height 100 SVH Now it's centered. So, what I want to do is that when I move my mouse, I want it to like move with the mouse, move based on the mouse speed. So how can I do that? First, I need to get the element. Let the to documents. Let's get element by ID. 
D. And then I can use the uh, document dot on mouse move to E D times three. Uh, no, <laughs> D dot animate. Then I'm going to set the keyframes. Translate is equal to dollar sign e dot movement x px or divide this by three. No, 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 not divide by three. And then e dot movement y px. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to. No. Now, and now I'm going to set the duration to 1000 and maybe I set the field to four words now what have we got now see that's moving with the mouse but the movement is a bit extreme I want it to be much more sub sub subtle uh, so now I'm going to divide these by three There we go. Now the movement but more sub subtle or whatever. Next, I'm going to change the color since these colors look ugly. Color pick right. Just to gr light light green. Paste. There we go, and I'll set the text to a darker light green. Copy. Paste. Let me set this to darker. And then paste. Set the font size to 4.5 REM. There we go. Finally, I could set the background color. Maybe I can set it to, to dark orange. Now I'm going to set to very light green. <laughs> Copy paste. Oh, why do I keep doing that? Reload. It doesn't look that good. So uh, I'll choose another color. Copy. Paste. Now looks much better. I'm also going to give this a box shadow. Box shadow. No, I'm not set to inset. Uh, two px, two px. RGBA is zero comma zero comma zero comma zero point five. Yeah, I'm not going to set to write zero. Let me make it more bigger. Five px, five px. Ten pixels, ten pixels, and there we go. Next, I have to change the font since the font it doesn't look that good. So I'll go to Google Fonts. Choose any of these fonts, but uh, what's this? Uh, I would no. I would send to Varela round. Or uh, whatever. I'm just going to use Varela round. I can't spend all this time searching for fonts. Get. Get embed code. Import. Copy. Paste. Bond family, Varela round, comma cursive. Now it looks much, much better. So 
Anyways, that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel, Obercode. Bye.